Good morning. This is Mark Harrison with Sewer Line Check Professionals. I am here at 16215 Bertella Drive in the Encino area, and I am preparing to perform a video examination of the main sewer line here on the property from Mitch Gasworth. Now, the main sewer line is the portion of the waste drainage piping that is exterior to the structure. It lies underground and connects the building drain line system to the public sewer. The building drain line system then is the portion or portions of the waste drainage piping that is underneath or interior to the structure. Our examination today is not focusing on the building drain line system, so if further evaluation is desired regarding the building drain line system, a licensed plumbing contractor should be contacted, or a specialty building drain line video examination can be set up through our office. All right, so I wasn't able to locate an exposed or accessible main sewer line cleanout. A main sewer line cleanout is an area outside the structure that has a removable cap. It's going to allow access into the main sewer line uh, as the drain system exits the structure. In this case, uh, the main cleanout has been covered by the landscaping. So what I've found is this three inch cleanout here underneath the building, just inside our sub area access here. It's off to the right of the front entry, and off to the right of the driveway. I've had to bring my gear in here. I'm kind of laying down. I'm going to drop in here. I'm going to push through about 15 or so feet of piping to get outside into the clay main sewer pipe. So I'll be recommending a standard cleanout be installed out front. This is very difficult access, and then we are also on a smaller three inch pipe here that we have to go through to get to this four inch vitrified clay main sewer pipe. So right about here I'm going to recommend a uh, standard clean-out access be installed. We have placed a, an orange marker flag out in the front yard area. It's about three feet or so in from the uh, front left corner of that portion closest to the street. Um, it's about four feet deep because of the uh, slope of the front yard it comes up. So it's a fairly deep pipe as it exits, but this is really what's needed for this system for future maintenance of <coughs> and uh, monitoring. So as we come around <coughs> into the clay pipe, we're seeing a little bit of a little bit of shifting here, but not significant. Now these clay pipe materials are very common. This type of piping is expected to have a very long service life. It's a natural material, so it's not expected to deteriorate underground like the iron or metal pipes would. But it is more brittle in nature and does have a higher potential for damage during seismic activity or earthquakes. Now what I'm seeing here, this is a uh, fitting that's making our uh, start to make a drop here towards the front of the yard, and it uh, looks like we've got some cracking starting to occur here. Uh, small amounts of roots and soil are starting to be pushed through uh, through that crack. So that's something that is not a significant issue right now, but it's very likely that it could worsen. So uh, if you're not going to perform any type of repair now, we'll want to definitely more closely monitor this area. This is a common place for these systems to crack because of the weight of the clay pipe kind of pulling downward on that fitting. And you'll see here we drop down steeply for a few feet. And commonly when you get a crack at the top, you're going to start seeing when things actually start to break or damage, you're going to start seeing cracks here along the bottom. So at some point we'll probably be discussing uh, Placing this drop area, but for the time being, doesn't seem to be really affecting the overall function of the system. <coughs> As we level back out here now, we're dropping into the six inch pipe that's going to carry us out to the public sewer under the street. And we're seeing the uh, beginnings of some very minor root intrusions here through this pipe, but nothing of any real significance or nothing that I'm seeing now that would even dictate recommending a cleaning. Very minimal going on there. And we're going to kind of turn to the left and then back to the right to drop down into the city sewer here at about 22 feet. So for the most part, the system's actually draining pretty well. Um, no signs of obstructions, roots, anything like that. There are some minor cracks in the system that are not really significant in nature but should be monitored if they do worsen. Uh, we could be talking about some uh, potential repairs in those areas. And then, uh, you know, having a main clean out out front for those purposes is uh, really ideal. That's the standard for a system. It's a 
and clean out the standard component for any main sewer line system for maintenance. And again, that area has been indicated with an orange marker flag, uh, also labeling the depth of the pipe. So I'm going to go ahead and conclude the video portion of the examination for today. Please do refer to my written report for the final findings and recommendations, including maintenance recommendations. We do recommend that all main sewer lines are examined after any significant seismic activity, and that main sewer lines should be examined annually to monitor for changing conditions in the system. This is Mark Harrison with Sewer Line Check Professionals. Thank you very much, and have a pleasant day.